everyone, welcome to another Animation Friday. I'm sorry this video has to be uploaded late. Um, I, I intended to upload everything for Thursday and the rest of this coming week. Um, technically on Thursday, but I was fairly tired when I got home. So I didn't really have the time to sit down and do all these videos, but now I'm full of energy and uh, ready to uh, basically catch up. And so I will be doing all of the videos up until Sunday's video, which will also be uploaded today, obviously. Uh, so without further ado, let me address what I wanted to talk about for this Animation Friday, and that is why T 2D animation isn't dead, sort of. <laughs> um, now, uh, in case any of you haven't known or have kind of been not so much in the loop um, as far as entertainment is concerned within animation, uh, you will notice that um, largely now, a lot of the times, uh, computer uh, generation has made it so that um, animation has now become a sort of technological art form. So in other words, we're not using pen and paper, we're using computer um, generated uh, means to showcase animation. Um, and this really started when computers pretty much were taking off and when the internet took off. I mean, that's really when we started to see um, computers really being utilized. Um, and uh, as a result, 2D has been in a massive decline. Um, now, I, I want to kind of make it clear that it isn't technically gone. Uh, it's just this role is changed significantly. Um, but I would say that if you look at film, in particular animated, animated film, um, I think the whole idea of trying to showcase 2D animation within a completely, uh, sort of mainstream, uh, animation company is just not, uh, the, the 2D animation is pretty much dead as far as film is concerned. I mean, they are not turning back, um, the clock. And I think there is a reason for that. I mean, there wasn't a huge amount of success with um, Princess and the Frog, even though it was a good film for what it was. Um, there wasn't a huge amount of success with the Winnie the Pooh movie, which was really technically the last 2D animated film um, that was fairly, at least to a certain extent, part of a mainstream animated studio our animation studio. Um, but I don't believe it's going to come back. Um, and that's really where 2D animation is pretty much gone. Like if, if you look at uh, animation within film, it's largely with computers. It's, it's largely using uh, computers. And yes, you know, you, you have to do the pen and paper and all that. Um, but at the end of the day, largely in part those things are the, the pen and paper is becoming much much more or less sophisticated uh, le much much more or less useful uh considering the fact that you know now we've got ipod or ipads and things like that you know you can draw on i mean it, it's pretty much as far as you know um animation is concerned it, it's become a lot uh a lot more based with than using computers and using technology as a means to showcase art um, as opposed to traditional 2D animation which focused on paint and brush and all that jazz that is really part of um, the 20th century largely um, as far as uh, uh, showcasing animation in, in, in that art form um, now the reason why I say 2D animation isn't completely dead, um, you know, I mean, it, it's sort of dead only because film, uh, with, with, with film, 
2D animation is probably not going to come back. And I only say this because we haven't seen it become relevant anymore. Um, you know, we the the demographics have spoken, the, the kids have spoken. They they want computer generation, they don't want 2D. Um, or a significantly lower portion of people that are kids nowadays want 2D. So it only makes sense that this, this would eventually happen. Uh, especially considering the rise of, you know, apps and games and things like that. Kids nowadays are like computers all the way, uh, as far as film is concerned. Now the reason why I say 2D animation isn't dead is because we still see it largely within television. Uh, if you look at the popular cartoons that uh, have been around within the earlier 2000s and even today, a large portion of them are still um, 2D or two-dimensional. Um, whether they be, um, you know, animated adult cartoons or... Um, or kid cartoons, a lot of them are still 2D. And and this baffled me so much, I thought, how is that possible? You know, if, if kids are so into the 3D stuff, how come within television, in particular children's television, there's still a significant portion of animated shows that are 2D and 2D modeled and were fairly popular? Uh, how, how is that possible? Um, and I think this could be for a variety of reasons. Um, the largely in portion the the two D or the three D uh, animated television shows they they don't have the same kind of caliber or the same amount of effort you know put into them as a three D animated film. Um, and that might be a technological discrepancy or something of, of that nature, but it does seem that, you know, those, those shows don't really hold a lot of popularity. Um, I think largely it might be due to budgetary issues because computers can't come off as, as, uh, as good as they would within a film because a film is given a lot more significant, a lot more significant budget to work with than something that is just a television show. Um, so I, I think that might be a huge reason as to why still, um, you know, the, the, the 3D hasn't really taken off for, for kids as far as television is concerned, because they're very, you know, they're kind of standard and they, they're, 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 they're almost a little generic. Um, and so I think that's, that's a partial reason why uh, it's not, it's, it hasn't gained its significant popularity through television. Now, the reason why I think 2D is a little bit more popular within television um, is also the comedic effect that you can still get away with within 2D. Um, that's not to say 3D animation can't do anything funny. Um, it's just that, you know, if you have a bigger budget to work with and you know you've got some good writers on board with you, you know, to make something, then, <laughs> then you, you know, you have, um, a certain amount of, uh, of, uh, you know, um, a certain amount of talent behind you to make things happen and put forth comedic effect. But as far as the animated shows are concerned, um, it's, again, uh, within 3D, it's probably a little bit more complicated to, to make it uh, as good. And so I think, too, there is that discrepancy because, you know, within a film, there is a genuinely a lot more effort and time and investment into it than into a television show. So I think it only makes sense that the comedic uh, effort isn't there onto 3D. Now, with 2D, you can actually do comedy, I think, a lot more easily. Um, just by the way everything is drawn, like, if you just look at 2D and then you look at 3D comedy, you'll kind of see what I'm, what I mean. Like, because there has to be a lot of 
thought and energy to the timing as far as 3D is concerned. But with 2D, it's a lot easier to, I think, get away with it and showcase slapstick and, you know, kind of make things very goofy and just out of this world. Um, whereas 3D is sort of trying to um, uh, sort of bridge the gap between that sort of reality and then the fiction, considering the fact that, you know, you could make the argument that computer models, you know, they, they look more like human than something that is completely flat. Um, but at the same time, you know, there there is, I think, still this huge niche that uh, 2D has uh, as far as television, particular children's television, as well as adult television, too. But I don't think of really adults care. Uh, as far as the animation is concerned. But again, I think there is this this uh, idea that you can get more comedic effect by using 2D animation and a lot more easily so. Um, so I think that's really why it's probably maintained its popularity. Um, but when something is kind of supposed to be showcased on the silver screen, you know, you kind of want it to be so super fancy and, you know, um, and very uh, detailed and things like that. So I could kind of understand um, why there is this significant effort being put in to focusing on 3D for film because there is a lot of grandeur you can get from it. Um, uh, but I, I understand, though, that, but, and for me personally, um, I feel that you know, 2D is, I think, far superior as far as visual effect is concerned. But, um, but again, the 3D has the ability to, you know, be a, a little bit more, um, you know, just a little bit more kind of in your face uh, as opposed to 2D. Um, and, you know, the younger generation, they love computers. They love technology. They love interacting in these kinds of worlds and to the popularity of video games and all that jazz, it only makes sense that we would try to showcase visually with computers. Um, and that is why uh, computers have, computer generation has been so popular within film, um, because you're sort of telling a story. Whereas with the television show, you can, you know, it can be like a little segment of a story or just a short story, you know, and there's doesn't need to be a huge amount of spectacle and, you know, a, a huge amount of um, attention span to it uh, because it's only half an hour long, if even with commercials, 20 minutes. So kids, I don't think, really recognize the difference all that much. But when they're seeing a film, they really do absorb the difference. And I guess this generation likes computers more than the hand-drawn material. Um, but I think that's, that's, that's my main argument, is, is that 2D isn't dead. It's just sort of dead. It, it's dead as far as film. When you look at animated films, it's probably not going to come back um, for a long time. And even then, they're probably going to... That, and they're definitely not going to give up on CGI, for sure, uh, computer generation. They're just going to keep going with that. Um, maybe they'll bring in a 2D film now and again, but it's not going to be the majority. Um, whereas with television, 2D is still going to have its presence, its kind of niche market. But, again, at the same time, um, is it going to be as... Uh, as uh, is it going to hold as much significance as it did in the 20th century? I don't think so, unfortunately not. Um, but at the same time, I still think that, you know, there should be some effort to keep this kind of animation alive and to showcase this kind of animation. Um, you know, sort of similar to how even when we convert it into color, you know, they, we still like to watch the old black and white films, you know, 
Um, so I, I think, again, if, if we could somehow, you know, keep sort of maintaining it, uh, maintaining it throughout um, uh, the generations, I think that would, that would be a good compromise um, instead of, you know, just completely dissing it completely or just, just or just ignoring its its uh, its significance. Um, so yeah, I think definitely if we did bring it back a little bit, it would be good. But as far as film is concerned, I think it's 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 had its day, and its day is pretty much up. But as far as um, as far as television though. I think it still will hold its importance for for years and years and years maybe um for how long i don't know but i think you know it's i think it's safe to say that it's going to be there how long it's going to be there is probably going to vary but um i think it's still going to have some kind of importance and i think that importance is definitely showcased within within when you look at all of the sort of television shows and also even when you look on YouTube too like a lot of the times people just use a 2d and that might be too because again budgetary it's it's a lot easier um, to get access to pen and paper than it is to get to a computer that allows you to do like all these this cool stuff with 3d you know kind of modeling and things like that so you know 2d is probably going to have its relevancy there to that effect and again i think you know uh, that's what uh where we'll probably be at for the next maybe 50 years or so but who knows you can never really predict the future but those are just my thoughts uh when it comes to this particular topic you know i don't think it's dead but uh it's just dead in certain areas or at least pretty much on life support um when it comes to film but uh when it comes to television and um and that uh, arena it still has some importance and some significance and we'll probably have that um for how long i'm not sure but uh but i would say uh, definitely within the coming years it'll still have an importance but um but uh yeah i think that's really all i can say if there are any questions comments concerns i'd be more than happy to answer them thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a pleasant day week month and year and i hope to see you all in the next video take